Well, good afternoon, folks. Uh, as I said yesterday, I'll be doing a daily video on some practical things that you can do to help you survive. A lot of things come from experience. I remember on the uh, 19th of October, 1987, when the share market crash occurred, I, I thought the, uh, the wheels had come off the world. People were wandering around. It's a terrible time. It's much worse today because people could die and people are dying. Now in 1987 and in late 87 I had an advisor who had been through the uh, the building society collapse of 1974, started in England, went right around the world. Now this guy is still alive, he lives in uh, Wanaka and I thought I'd share with you some of the things that, some of the advice he gave me. I have to tell you, most of it I never took. I wish I had. I didn't. So here we go. Here's some of the advice that I received. Time is your friend. It takes five years to sort out the repercussions. It won't take five years to sort the problem out, but it takes five years to get balance sheets and business back into a normal trading pattern. Next one. Check the financial stability of your financier. If they are weak financially, or if they feel they are overexposed to your sector, it's a problem. It may be that um, they're overexposed to your region, or our region on the coast, it's a problem. So a financier can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Contact, now here's a really important piece of advice. Contact your financiers immediately and seek to protect your funding lines. Talk to them about interest only, six months or a year. And open the conversation about suspending or capitalising interest if you have to. Now it's likely this coming week there will be further announcements from government that will further reinforce the relationship that you have between yourself and your bankers. If you've got a set of motels and you lease them, you need to be talking to the freehold owner. And the reason for that is that they've had the benefit of lower interest rates, they've had the interest, the benefit of your, uh, your payments, and you're in it together. We are all in this together. So talk to them first because you get your wage subsidies, but at this stage, you're not going to get a subsidy on your lease. Remember, we're all in it together. Check your supplier's financial health as best as you can. A weak supplier can spread a financial virus to you and very quickly give you the guts ache. Negotiate early because you're both in the same boat. He wants you, you want him. Delay, delay, delay. Reduce your stocks if you hold stocks. And if you're in the cafe industry or if you're in a lot of industries, you hold stock. Reduce them and shift the burden of carrying the stock down to your supplier. But do it in a very open way with your preferred supplier. Once again, we're in it together. Carry out a line-by-line -line investigation of your debtors. Hey, it's your money. Work with your debtors. Help them to reduce your exposure and identify those that pose risk and work with them because in the future, if you treat them right now, they will be the people who will support you for the rest of your life. Something I can tell you from personal experience. Analyse your monthly payments. Now, some of you are not going to like this one. Get your bank statement out. Analyse the monthly payments going out. Consider them line by line and work out how you can get rid of them. I mean, I had one line that said uh, uh, helicopter payments. <laughs> I said, no way, I can't do it without my helicopter. Well, guess what? I should have taken that advice. I could have sold it then and uh, would have been a lot better off. If you hold an unproductive asset, one that you don't need, turn it into cash because the dollar you get today will buy you $2 tomorrow. That's just a reality. So if you've got something lying around, if it's not productive, get rid of it. You know, it's the best thing to do. And remember, Cash is king. So just to reiterate, 
I hope you've applied to MSD for your wage subsidy. I hope you're keeping an eye on the Ministry of Health website to ensure that when a, the, the question of what's occurring virus-wise is accurate. And I hope you're not buying cartloads of toilet paper. We'll catch you later.